I hope today's episode of Thriftmas really sparks joy. If you don't know who Sam is, Sam's my best friend and he just so happens to be a blacksmith, a jewellery maker, a woodworker, just one of these guys that can do literally everything. Like you, you set a task for Sam and no matter how big or how small, he is the Australian MacGyver and he will figure out how to do it. Uh, as you know, I went thrifting the other day. I purchased spoons. <gasps> spoons? You are me? You are the spoon master. Uh, I'm the spoon boy. What we have here... Are there spoons in this fancy box? Do there they are. they come in the fancy box? Oh, Are they fan- does this mean they're fancy spoons? Yeah, no, I was just looking at my pile thinking, hang on, this isn't all of the spoons. There are more. You've got more spoons? Uh, just- <laughs> I completely forgot. Let me go get them from the car. Hang on. Can I just stay here with the audience and fondle these spoons? You can. things have you seen? You're gonna become a ring. She'll be back. So, what brings you to this channel? Come here often? That sounds like a lot of spit. Oh! I so many spoons! Holy Alex! And a pretty bowl. Oh, sick! <laughs> this has no interest to me. <laughs> More spoons! Essentially, I got. Now, I think there's 36 spoons here. There's a few more here. We have collector spoons, we have boring spoons, but the criteria for the spoons that I was looking for was I wanted to find some that had an evenly consistent handle so that way you could chop it on either end, curve it around. And Tell make, me more. <laughs> and make a ring out of it. Obviously if it's even versus if it's like tapered and then it goes skinny, I mean yeah cool, maybe it could be a cool ring, but I was trying to find things that had even handles I wanted to find some that had something really interesting on the top here, like a really decorative or interesting shape. Some of these ones that have a boring... What's wrong? No, it's gone. Some of these ones that have a boring <laughs> spoon, I figured if it's, if it's boring on the spoon part, you can keep all of them and then we can do one of those things where we try to make like a flower or something, you know, oh, where you stick like them together, stick yeah. them all together, possibly, I'm not sure. It sounds like a lot of work. Are you signing up for this? I'm recruiting you for this. <laughs> ah, I see. But I noticed on a lot of these they say EPNS. Do you know what that means? No. Ah, oh, you're supposed to be the expert. Well, that could I, mean, hold on. I happen to know what it means. It means like silver plated. So none of these are actual silver. So we can't really melt. Oh, electroplated nickel silver, right. Yes. We can't really melt any of these down and turn them into other things. Oh no. <laughs> but we, because <laughs> no, no, no. it's silver plated over nickel or over brass or whatever, but we can bend them into different shapes. So let's take these spoons and head off to Sam's workshop. Can I see the pretty ones yet? Oh, sorry, sorry. I kept asking, you kept saying, ooh. All right, so we're at Sam's place now. We're about to head into the workshop, but uh, we've got all the spoons here behind us. Now we've taken the time to sort through these and we've found any matching pairs. So for example, these spoons, now as as you know, I bought all of these teaspoons from various Salvation Army, St Vinnie's, you know, op shops all around Sydney. And uh, I've managed to find, throughout all of those different stores, a bunch of matching spoons. Now this is obviously because some of these are, uh, I would say, companies or businesses that have, what do you call it, souvenir teaspoons. For example, this one says Taronga Zoo, which is a zoo in Sydney. This one says uh, Sovereign Hill, Ballarat, Victoria. This one says Bribey Island, Queensland. So I feel like any place that wanted to have their own souvenir teaspoon, there's probably various suppliers and manufacturers that make a default spoon and then you just tell them what you want put on it. You know, a bit like a cheap beauty guru palettes. <laughs> they just have them sitting around in stock waiting for a name to be slapped on them. So anyway, there's six spoons here that all have 
the top of them, the very, very top of them are exactly the same. Even though the shape of the spoon itself is different and even though the design on the handle part is different, the top of these six spoons is identical. So we've already got some little experimental ones on here. These were done by Sam a little while ago and I'm not gonna give you any close-ups yet. You can't see yet because I want there to be a grand reveal. So let's head into the workshop. We're gonna cut all the tops off all of these for the pendant part. And I like rusty spoons. No, we don't. We don't reference that here. That's deeply distressing. I have scars from that. So as you can see here, they all have the same top on them. I picked spoons that had very, very ornate tops on them. So that way they'll make really beautiful pendants. Now this is obviously very dark and tarnished, but it's going to look beautiful once we polish it up. This one will probably make a really good double-sided pendant because once this comes off, that'll be blank underneath, but there's a pattern on this side. I bought so many, I probably won't be able to show you all of them, but we'll do a before and after of every single spoon. Let's, let's, let's get cool. spooning. Get. Well now. Cheers. All right, so these are all done. They're all cut off. We found a couple of extras that matched in the pile from the last thrift haul that we did. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve that could be pendants or earrings. We have these, it'll definitely be earrings. These for rings and a couple of random spoon heads that don't really match anything. So we have the earrings that Sam's wearing here and the matching necklace. We have the two earrings I'm wearing and the matching necklace. And because we're not wasteful, we used every part of the spoon. We also have the another shovel set, part. the shovel part, the spoony part. So I'll give you guys some close-ups. As you can see, these ones here had kind of a mottly texture when we removed the emblem on the top. And it just so happened that there were three of them. There were also three of these ones here that had a really nice smooth shiny texture. They didn't have the mottled embossed finish. Then obviously with the spoons, some of the spoon heads had this little rose on them and some of them didn't. So we were lucky enough that we actually had three with the rose head. So we have managed to get three really nice complete sets of jewelry. I love the way that these turned out. I think they're absolutely beautiful. One week later. All right, Sam. I, I come I come bearing gifts. Snacks? Well, here's some built on snacks. Close your eyes. <gasps> okay, open. <gasps> oh! Oh! Stamps! Stampy! Stamps! Stampy! Oh! So you can personalize the jewelry that you send out. Because when you made the uh, Gucci ring for me that ended up saying Corey, <laughs> I was like, yep, I think he needs some stamps. Oh, they're basically sticks of metal with letters on the end. This one's an M. You can't tell that it's an M, but it's an M. This is what the font looks like. There were all different types of font, but this one was kind of like a cutesy curved kind of font. So there's lowercase and then there's the uppercase, which is also cute and curved. Oh, I see. Same font, but yeah, different sizes. Right, right. So how about we go, we're gonna go test it out on something? I was thinking we could whack some of the spoons. Oh, wax the spoons. No, whack them. Oh, whack the spoons. Yes, let's do it. So these are some spoons that I recently thrifted that I figured would be good bangles because the handle of them is nice and evenly shaped and it's got a, a cute sort of intricate pattern on it. So I figure we can use the stamps and we can stamp along the back here and hopefully bend them into bangles. Hey, cool. That's cute. Okay, so we've got, we have our heart and now I'll spell out Tiasha. T for totally, I for irresistible, A for absolutely, S 
for stunning, H for happy, A for asshole. Uh, something doesn't look right. Really? Uh, yeah, I guess it's Yeah, a... I put a bit too much of a space between the A and the S. I'm sorry, it's my first time. I don't know if I like this font. What do you oh, think? It's like Comic Sans. So what I thought was going to be a bangle has ended up being a ring because the bangle... Oh, go on, go Sam, it's okay. <laughs> you may interrupt me. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I sound like after curry. It doesn't agree with my butthole, but I love it. Sam, tell us what you're making. I'm making leaves. So thank you so much everyone that bought something from Sam's Etsy store. We made a, like a little soft announcement of the launch of his store in one of my videos the other day. And I let you guys know that he's opened up his shop and uh, he has since sold 14 items. He's The most popular piece is this copper leaf you pendant. They really like leaves. They really like the leaf pendant. Really like and also he's sold a few of these ones too. So uh, the link is in the description box below if you guys want to check out his Etsy. So that's what Sam's working on while I'm doing these rings and bracelets. So like I was saying, the bangle ended up, there just wasn't enough spoon handle to make a bangle. So I turned it into this kind of curled around ring. And this is a E, what is it? EPNS, no, what do they call it? Electroplated nickel silver, EPNS. This is EPNS, electroplated nickel silver. It's not solid silver. So it's really, really hard to bend. So I wasn't able to get it perfectly round. I, I tried for like an hour. soften it before you bend it. So I couldn't get this perfectly round, but anyway, I, th I don't think Tiasha will mind. I think she's really gonna love it and- uh, the appreciate the gesture. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until you stop blowing. No, no, please continue. I don't want to interrupt your work. Please I don't, I don't want to interrupt your no, work. No, but I don't want to, no. Want, no, I don't we want to interrupt We sound like Canadians right now. <laughs> No, no, after no, you. No, after you. No, after you. No, eh? No, no, eh? Uh, I'm going to move on to the next piece of jewellery now, but I'm really happy with how this one looks. The Tiasha looks really, really good because when I was polishing it, it got a bunch of the polishing compound inside it and it went black, so you can really see what it says now properly. So I'm really happy with this and I'm going to move on to some other spoons now. All right, I got my little Halloween bucket full of spoons here from an earlier video. So I bought 35 spoons and I think I paid about like 10 bucks. For, no, not even. I think I got them all for five dollars or something stupid i hardly paid anything for all these spoons but uh, i have some really interesting ones in here and i'm just going to sort through them now and figure out what i want to turn into what i'm sorry it's so windy out here so i wanted to make these into rings uh, and that's why i bought so many that looked like this but i've just realized when i tried to bend this that as I bend it, it's actually cracking because this is probably not the right sort of metal underneath the silver plating. There you go, see it just completely snapped in half. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to make rings out of some of these. So the first two are these matching spoons, but one's silver and one's gold color. Two of my friends, Shelly and Grace, they live together. So I'm gonna turn both of these into a pendant, one for each of them. I'm gonna use the top part as a pendant. And then also there's this in interesting pattern on the bottom of the spoon here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make something out of this, but I'm gonna give it a try. This is for Millie. I don't know if you guys know, but Millie is like absolutely obsessed with cowgirl anything. She's had like a cowgirl birthday party. She has that many cowgirl boots and hats and everything. And when I saw this, I knew she's, she's gonna die. Like she's just flat out, who, she's gonna flat out die. I, I guess it's not very nice to kill your friend at Christmas, but like, <laughs> what a way to go. This one's for Tiasha. Now what I'm gonna do here is just saw it off there. And that's a very easy pendant. I think that this will look really pretty on her. This spoon is made of solid sterling silver. So uh, this is the only one out of all of these spoons that's actually made of silver. So uh, you can see it on the back here. It says sterling silver. This was a dollar. I'm gonna turn this one into a pendant for my friend Beck. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna remove this and then on the back, I'm gonna stamp Becca. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna work or not. This one's more of an experiment, but I really like the perfectly round shape of it. I think it should work. And I'm gonna do this one for Caitlin. So I'm gonna take it off there. I'm gonna punch the hole in there. And I'd really like to use some resin to set something in here, but I'm not sure what yet. And then of course in this box, I have this set and I'm gonna be turning, making like two sets probably out of these. And these are gonna be a pendant and then two earrings.
Spicy button. <gasps> button. Spicy button. Spicy button go in the water. Suddenly, cold button. Oh my god. Can you believe this was once a spoon? <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. These are all going to become pendants. I'm so excited. Like, just like this, they look cool already, but you just wait. Sam's still working hard. Handful of leaves. So this is the one that I just used the saw on, and I'm glad that Sam showed me that trick where you kind of like press into the saw to make it sort of like curved. I think that looks so pretty. Oh my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> Alright, so I've basically polished this one up. It's got my fingerprints on it, ignore that. But I'm gonna try and put my friend's name on it, but I'm really not sure how I'm gonna go in terms of getting all the letters straight. I'm kinda nervous. Maybe it'll be cute if they're not even. Oh, it's not straight. leave it this way? Can it stay this pinky colour? I could, but here's the thing. Leaving them like this, they would then like discolour on their own, so it's it would be entirely random what they'd turn but into. But Sam, they're pastel pink. They are pastel pink, oh but my they, God. Won't, they won't stay pastel pink. Well, that's... Okay, look. Can, can you make another one at some point and leave it like this, and I'm going to wear it around for like a month or two as an experiment, and I want to see... Yeah. Yeah, totally. Oh my God. Look at, look at this crocodile Dundee over here with this knife sticking out of his pocket. <laughs> That's not a knife. It's a quarter after one, I'm all alone and I need you now. I put the E on sideways. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Grace. So Alex, are you saying it's just Gracie? <laughs> Say it on the last one. They just bet Joe. Oh my god! Did you call me baby? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Is that okay? Yeah, it's cool. It's got leaves. Cool. Oh, they're beautiful, Sam. Yeah. I'm so excited for so you were, and your store. There were three light oxides and four darks. Can you guess which one's which? Uh, well, this this is the light oxide. Oh my god. And this is the dark oxide. Genius. Amazing. Oh, Sam, they look amazing. Yeah. Good job, Sam. Thank you.
Ah, okay guys, we're done. <laughs> what a day. Mm. Sam's uh, been making his pendants for his Etsy store all day. And, and uh, them. Oh, can I interrupt you? Yes. I just want to say a special thank you to everyone who ordered something. So to Christina, to Liz, to Tara, to Anna, to Rebecca, to Virginia, to Becky, Laura, and Crystal. Thank you so much. That's very well appreciated. Oh, you're so cute. I'm so proud of you. No, for you guys are cute. Star. You guys are cute. You guys are cute. I've for been supporting him. Busy all day, but it's for a good cause. So those ones, they're finished. I haven't put them on a truck yet because it's like seven o'clock at night. But tomorrow, tomorrow they're leaving. Been posted. But when's this video going up? Tonight. Tonight. So tomorrow they'll be leaving. <laughs> okay. So um, uh, this is everything that I converted spoon wise. I'm kind of happy but also I know I didn't do the best job I'm I'm not a master craftsman like Sam I'm still learning for day one you've done bloody marvelous thanks Sam so um do you actually it's cute I was not happy with it so this is a butterfly that I this was a last minute thing because I had a couple of those big spoons so the first thing I did I turned a spoon into a ring for Tiasha and I've got her name stamped on the inside I used one spoon to make the ring for Tiasha and then I had a couple spare so I thought I would turn it into a butterfly now that I've tried this out once I think that the next time that I make a butterfly like this I'm going to um, Look, how do I explain? I basically like curved it into B shapes and then I stuck it together and then I twirled the wire around the whole thing. But I should have really had two straight pieces, twirled the wire around, then curved the B shape because at the moment it's kind of like a, a plus sign of of wire going like across like this. I see you. I, I feel you. I get what you're going. Through. I know. Don't, don't worry about it. I'm getting too complicated. It's all guys. prior planning. It's one of these things that yep. if you know in advance exactly how you're going to make it, you can yes. plot and plan how you're going to do it to yep. be the most efficient. Yeah. But you were just having fun. I was having fun. So next time I'm going to make a far superior butterfly out of spoons. But for my first attempt, he's not too bad. This was interesting because I was supposed to have one gold and one silver. But as I was polishing them, the gold colored one. I Polish off. I polished off the gold, whatever it was, whatever the plating was. I need to buy a plating machine, don't I? So we can yes. start reapplying plates. Oh dear. So, oh. Add another tool. So I have these engraved on the back for the two friends that these are going to. These are going to Grace and Shelley and they live together. So they have matching pendants, but I accidentally stamped the E on Grace's name sideways. And uh, so what I did, do you guys, have you ever like been to Starbucks and you've given your name and they've written just someone else's name entirely on the cup. It's not even your name. But then, because it was so funny, your friends start calling you that name. So Grace like went up to it, I think it was a Thai restaurant or something, and ordered. And then when she said her name was Grace, the person only heard the Ray part. It was like Grace. So they called it Ray. On the order, they just put Ray. So she's been Ray to us ever since then. We just thought it was so funny. She's Ray in my phone. She's Ray on Facebook Messenger. So I scratched out her name and put Ray. So I hope that she likes that. Shelly's name worked out quite well. This little set of three. Now what I'm using these for, by the way, sorry, normally I would be putting little hoops and chains and all that on these. But since Sam has actually opened his store now, I don't want to take any of his nice sterling silver hoops <laughs> and put them on my thrift shop spoons. I'll be like, Alex, there's an order and I'm out of things. What happened? Yeah. Sorry, I've been using them. Yeah, sorry. So <laughs> I, I don't have any little hoops. I've drilled the holes for the little hoops, but I'm just going to go to a craft store and just get some cheap ones because Sam uses really good quality ones for his Etsy store. He uses like sterling silver. So I'm just going to get some cheap ones and I'll put, you know, one on here so it can be for a necklace. And then these two are going to be earrings. Mm -hmm. uh, I have this one here that's got my friend's name engraved into it. I have uh, this one here for Millie with the little uh, bull head, which I know she's going to die over. No further engravings required. She's no. already for it. I've got this one. This is a little opal. So that polish, that was the sterling silver one. Oh my God. Who did you forget? I forgot to do something with the glob of sterling silver that we smelted down. That's okay. It's still sitting there. I'm not going to do it tonight. I'm no. so tired. Next time. Next time. Not next time. You guys enjoyed watching it get melted and now you can anticipate what is Alex going to come up with? Actually, tell, like, tell me what you want me to do with that random blob of silver because we can melt it into something else. Yeah. Um, I have this one, which is, I don't know, puka shell or whatever they call that. I don't well, know. Well, that that's actually um, power that... shell. Oh. That's, that's not an opal. I, look, no, I was, I was opal, just going to let it slide. Opal... I was like, I know what you mean. You know what I mean. Yeah, 
Power Power pa Pua shell. Yeah. It's it's a I think it's a sort of either like clam or oyster and yeah, it's yeah. native to New Zealand. New Zealand, yeah. And I, uh, the name is on the tip of my tongue, but I cannot for the life of me remember. So uh, these were the spoon part of uh, the spoon that had the rectangular shaped bit. And I turned these into, well, all I did was polish it up and then put a hole in it. But I would really like to find a white bead and sit it just there so it looks like a pearl sitting inside Ooh. it and thread that through so it looks like a little pearl in a shell. I think these are gonna look awesome when I finish them eventually. And then I just have this plain circular one too. So that is my spoon thrift flip upcycle, whatever you wanna call it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. That was a lot of fun. And uh, with that, Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll, I'll see, see you tomorrow. Time. Tomorrow. Next time is tomorrow. Must sleep! Tomorrow. <laughs>